In creating the window, I could again insert the AutoCAD elevation drawings inside SketchUp and create another scene for the elevations. But uh, for this tutorial, we just uh, go straight on creating the window directly here in SketchUp without a reference. So I'll just copy these two lines. Control C. So just click outside of the component bounding box and then find a better location to paste the copied lines and then control V. Then complete the window frame. And let's offset the thickness. That's around 50 mm for 2 inches. Now, what if we have four divisions for the mullions? We could uh, simply select and then move and then control to copy this one. And then click here for the first instance. And then I could forward slash and then divide by four. So forward slash four, enter. Okay. So, this could be a possible way. However, we try to measure this first. From this distance to this distance is 550. Okay, so that's okay. And then here is 550 also. However, if we try to provide the thickness for our mullions, as for example, move control again. Then let's provide uh, 25 mm. And then another 25 mm. Uh, let's copy our offset lines so m control again so from this uh, end point to the end point of this line so let's try to measure again so from the edge of this mullion to this edge that's 500 but from this mullion to this mullion it's 525 okay so i will not go that uh, way so instead, I'll erase this and then I'll keep those with at the center, okay? I know that this is at the center because it's divided by 4, therefore this is at the center. And then I'll just erase this. And then that's the time I could copy this already. So M, control, from this endpoint to the midpoint. And similarly, control from this midpoint to the midpoint. So, once I measure it, to so take measure tool. So, from this corner to this corner, that's 513. This corner to this corner, still 513. So, there is equal distribution of window divisions. And I'll do the same for the horizontal subdivisions. But I'll clean first my geometries. So similarly, I could uh, just create a line at the center and then move, copy this one. So M and then control, then I'll provide uh, 25 mm and then control again, 25 mm, enter. Then I'll clean that again, erase and then copy these lines again. M, control from this endpoint to the midpoint, then control midpoint to midpoint. So I'll erase first this one and then I will just window select control and window select the horizontal subdivisions and then copy. So M control so from this uh, corner, this corner times so X3 so automatically copy that three times then just erase the unwanted geometries. So you could just uh, simply drag your eraser along the unwanted geometries. Now I'll copy first this plane to so M, control. Then I could uh, erase this already. Then hit delete on my keyboard. So I have the plane for my window frame. So I could just screw that to 100 mm. That's 4 inches. So we have 2 by 4 inches window frame. And then this one, I will use this to create or model the window pane frame okay so again we'll offset this one 
offset to 1 inch so 25 mm enter then again copy this plane so m control for the window pane okay so this is uh, much simpler i'll erase this one then i will extrude this window pane frame to 25 thickness so i have here my window frame window pane frame and then the uh, window pane you should always extrude your geometries so that you have uh, only the front side shown okay because with this i have the front and i have the back side okay so what we want is again we want all the geometries showing their front faces or front side of their face so we'll extrude this one assume the thickness of around 5 mm or 10 mm so we already have the front side of the face showing and that's important for material application especially with other plugins now we convert this into a component because i will be using it uh, several times or first i'll make it as a group first this one i will make it as a component so i'll name it properly as window pane frame and then this one component also so i'll just type g inside of right click so g to make component so i'll name it as window pane so for this group i'll go to the i'll go to the outliner and then rename it as window frame and i'll copy this one already so control c and then double click this one to go inside the group uh, component or group bounding box and then control v okay so I'll place it first on this corner. Then I'll toggle the X-ray mode. And then move that from midpoint to the midpoint. I'll do the same with the window pane. So I'll select Ctrl C, then double click on this particular then control v i'll paste it down first on this corner and then m move it from this midpoint to the midpoint of window pane frame so inside the window frame i have the window pane and window pane frame I will control select this two and then move control to copy from this this endpoint times three enter so it's copied three times I'll control select them again then M control from this corner to this corner times 3 again 